Okay, so in this video, we're going to see how to make requests to OpenAI top APIs, that is GPT-4, Whisper1, and Dali. For making real requests, we're going to use uh, Postman. And the API request we're going to cover is how to create a text completion, how to create a chat completion using GPT-4, how to edit. So you give a text, for example, to fix the grammar, and you give a text and an instruction. Also, how to create an image using the two using the API, how to create a transcription. We're going to send an audio or a video and we'll convert into text and how to create a translation. We can send any audio or video in several formats in any language and it will translate into English text. Okay, so the sponsor of this video is myself. I'm building an encyclopedia and sentence.dev and I am writing classes, courses, articles, and very soon you can write to and earn some tokens and you can go to my encyclopedia and click on sign up and you can get access to this encyclopedia. It's free. Thank you. Okay, so welcome to this tutorial. We're going to learn how to make requests to OpenAI APIs using an authorization key, using the post and get method. So let's go to the documentation. And for making requests, we need an OpenAI API key. And the first thing we're going to do is to list the models we have access to. So we need an API key. So we're going to go to, you need to go to your account, never share your API keys, and you go to OpenAI platform.openai.com slash account slash API keys, and you ask for a new secret key. Then you copy, you go to Postman, that is a software for, for testing, and here we're going to in authorization, in bidder token, we're going to add here the token. Then we go to body, and if you see the documentation, and if you see the documentation, here the headers is application JSON, the content type, and we need bidder and the OpenAI API key. So here in Postman, we'll need here in body, we can put it to raw and then the type JSON. Then for the models is API openai.com slash v1 models. So we send, we have access to Whisper that converts a, a video or an audio from a voice to text. Then we have Babash. We have access to Babash to DaVinci. Okay, so we can click here Control F or Command F in your Mac if to see if we have access to GPT-4. We have access, as you see, we have here GPT-4. Here is the, the ID, GPT-4. So we can retrieve some information of, about GPT-4 if we here provide, go to, the, to documentation. We can list all the models by this uh, request get request to this uh, url and to retrieve a model we can we can get this url with the model so how do we do this okay so we need to add a model okay so we need to add model to this uh, url so here is the url so here we can add a gpt And here we can have all the information about this specific model. For example, when was created, if we have access. Okay. Here is the, the permission. Okay, so now let's see completions. For a given prompt, for example, uh, say this is a test, the model will complete with more text is more powerful and more robust chat completions but this is a some simple uh, text completion that works good and is less expensive and sometimes work better okay so we need to make a post request to api.openai.com slash v1 slash completions is api.openai.com slash v1 completions so we need the model. The models available are Babash, DaVinci. We're going to use text DaVinci 003. So let's copy the model. 
we need to create an object. We paste the model. We're also passing some prompt. Prompt. Let's see. Let's see. Bye. Then we're passing the max tokens. Let's say, for example, eight tokens. Okay, finally, let's pass some temperature. 0 0.3. So if we send this request, we get a good buy. We can also, for example, have two choices as a response. If you want, you're creating a music, you're creating a poem, you can have two two choices to from the same prompt so you can make more agile your work also here interesting here is that we can convert this into a very random very random so as you see <laughs> nudu gonna text for c photo is a very random uh, response so this model is a little bit old but if we change for example for 0 .0, 0 0.6 you can see we get a more concise and more precise result. Also, other um, parameters here that we can pass arguments to this request body is the prompt, the suffix, max tokens, temper, temperature, top P, number of choices for return, stream, log props. Okay. Okay, so now let's create a chat completion. That is the most powerful feature of OpenAI. And we're going to use for the model GPT-4. So we're going to create a post request to this um, URL. So now let's copy this URL. Now let's go to Postman. And we need to paste here the URL. Okay. Now we need to create here the object that is the model GPT-4. Now, as the as you see here, you need to pass messages. It's a required array with an array of objects that has a role, key, and a content key. And this name is optional. You can also pass temperature for adding randomness, the number of choices of return, top P, that is a nucleus sampling, stop, if you want to stop. You also can create a penalize to create more original content, and some extra here. Uh, parameters. So now let's go to the API and now let's add a messages. That is an array of objects. So for the first first object, we need we need as you see here we need a role. Let's say for example system to add some context. System. And then as content, you are an expert math tutor. Now let's copy this and we need to put a comma because an array of objects. And then here we pass a user context and in content explain, tell me top seven linear algebra topics. Now let's add here the JSON format. Now let's add some temperature. Let's for example add very deterministic. Now some max tokens to let's say for example 30 tokens 33 okay you need to understand that this is generating some tokens you need to understand this this is expanding some tokens this to the context and also the response is is generating some tokens so now let's make the request to see if everything is okay and as you can see the request was okay we consumed 58 tokens because we expand 
25 tokens in this context. You can use the tokenizer tool. Let's search for tokenizer nicer tool tool gpt4 so here we can we can check here the model for example we can check here how many tokens are okay so we spend these prompt tokens and these completion tokens these 25 tokens is from this context and then the content response is one vector spaces. And it was unable to, to do all the response because we need more tokens. So you can remove the max tokens at your own risk, or you can play and, for example, add more tokens and you will have a more complete response. Okay, so now let's imagine you have an application and you want to fix some grammar and you want to do it cheap, not using ChatGPT4, so you can use edits. So you need to, we need to call this API that is B1 edits. So now let's copy this and we need to use the post request method. So we go to Postman and we paste this edits. And as parameters, we need to pass a model. So we want to copy the model. So here, let's, we need the object. We paste the model and we need the input and the instruction, also the number of choices, the temperature, but we are going to play only with one input and one instruction. So now let's say, for example, as input, input, let's say, for example, And now let's say, for example, as instruction, let's add correct grammar fix. So finally, we can run this. And as you can see, it's fast and it's also this is the day of the week. As you can see, it was corrected the grammar. Okay, so now let's generate an image. We're going to use the DALI image generator. We need to make a post request to this URL. That is B1 images generation. So we copy and we go to Postman and then here we paste it. Now we need to pass as parameters. We need a prompt, a number of choices and a size. So we need a prompt prompt let's say for example a cute dolphin character now let's with a crown now let's add we need a number of choices we want only one image and we need four requirements uh, size so size, let's say 124 times 124. So now let's run this DALI image generator. And here we have the image. We can get, we can, we have the blob file and we can get the image. And this is the image, a cute dolphin with a crown. Okay, so now let's learn how to create an, a, a transcription that is a speech to text. So you need to pass a file that has the audio, can be MP3, MP4, MP on all these formats. So you need to pass this file and also the model that is Whisper one. And the, you need to make a post request with the your API key. So let's copy this uh, URL. Let's go to Postman. And now let's, let's create a post request. Let's click here to get a new post request with this. 
Now, as keys, we are going to use the body from data. Okay, so now here, as key, we need the file. And also we need as key the model. Model that is whisper dash one. And here we need a file. Okay, so we, we select our file. And, and as you can see, here is the text. I, I record this text with voice and it's, it's correct. Okay, so how does the code work? Okay, so finally, we're going to see an example of translation. So you can pass any language audio and it will translate into English. So I'm going to pass an Spanish. Uh, so I'm going to pass an Spanish audio. So we copy this URL and require parameters also file and model. So here is the file and model. We need this and we need to pass another audio. Okay, so here we need to select the file and we're going to pass this Spanish text for the API V1 audio translations. It's in Spanish and will translate into English. So we send and this is the test to convert the audio from. So it's correctly translated.